Hello everyone. In this first video, we're going to be taking a look at questions one through four from the June 2018 Algebra 1 Regents exam. So for number one, we're asked to find the solution for an inequality. 4p plus 2 is less than 2 parentheses p plus 5 close parentheses. Um, so we're going to straight up just solve this. On the right hand side, we'd want to distribute first. I'm just going to rewrite it to the right hand side. Things with inequalities to be careful of, anytime we divide by a negative, we have to remember to flip our sign. I'm going to, or I now have variables on both sides. I'm going to choose to bring the p's to the left hand side. So I'm subtracting 2p from uh, the left and right to give me 2p. I'm going to bring my constants then to the right hand side. Remember when you have variables on both sides, the discussion basically uh, becomes arranging variables on one side and constants on the other. My last step here, I'm going to divide by 2 and I ultimately get p is less than 4, choice 4. There's no negative here. As a matter of fact, if you did bring the p's over to the right, we get negative 2p, so you would have a negative the other way. Um, usually with inequalities, we tend to like the variable being on the left-hand side. That's just traditionally how we write it. With equations, it doesn't matter as much because you can flip-flop it. Um, with inequalities, we usually like the variable on the left if that helps you make your decision on where to bring the variables. For two, we have a uh, straight-up function notation question. So you kind of have to understand what this is asking. When it says k of 9, that's basically saying plug in or let x equal 9. I would utilize my calculator here personally, so type in the function 2x squared minus 3 rad x. And then you could just go to the calculator table, so you hit second graph and see what's next to 9. If for some reason, obviously you have access to a calculator, but if you want to see how this is done the real way, it's just simply plugging in a 9. Okay. Uh, 9 squared is going to be 81 times 2 is 162. Oops. That second x should be a 9. Rad 9 is obviously just 3, so that's going to say minus 3 times 3 or minus 9. 162 minus 9 is going to give us our final answer. Once again, choice 4, 153. Okay, and for question three, we have a uh, basically a polynomial if you want to give this a topic name question. So this is going to be distributing um, and CLT, what I call combining like terms. So after distributing, we get 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. And when we distribute in the second set, watch out for the negative here. We're going to get minus 16x squared plus 28x minus 20. Okay, now 3x squared minus 16x squared is negative 13x squared, combining our like terms. Be careful of the signs here. Signs are important. I get plus 34x. My constants, I have negative 9 and negative 20 or negative 29. Any integer rules you're unsure of, obviously you could use the calculator to help you combine. I see my answer in choice 2. Choice 2. And last but not least, zeros of a quadratic, p of x. Once again, this could be a calculator table question. I could type it in and simply look for where zeros are referring to. Where does y equal zero? So you can scan up and down, see which choices. You could even use them to kind of tell you where to look. <clears throat> are you seeing um, those zeros? Or if we want to answer this, once again, kind of like the real way I like to say, maybe you want to kind of double check yourself. This is a factoring question. So this would be our sum product rule. What adds to negative 2 and multiplies to negative 24? It would be negative 6 and positive 4. We do our t-chart, and we end up getting 6 and negative 4. Once again, you could verify this on the calculator table. Choice 3 is correct.